the Taj Mahal. This great monument stands as the symbol of the art and architecture of India. A close inspection, though, reveals that the Taj Mahal's marble is eroding. It is under attack by a pervasive blanket of polluted and acidic air. In the early 1980s, Mahesh Chander Mehta, a concerned attorney, was made aware of the declining state of this magnificent building. In 1983, when I was in a social gathering, uh, one person came to me and he said that uh, uh, you are a lawyer, but uh, the lawyers, they don't take interest in saving the monuments and saving the cultural heritage of this country. So I asked him, what is the problem? So he said the Taj Mahal is dying and nobody is taking care of the Taj Mahal. Although he had never handled an environmental case, Mehta immediately petitioned the Supreme Court of India to take legal action to protect the monument. It took the better part of a decade, but Mehta finally convinced the court to order the installation of pollution controls in factories throughout the entire region. Turning his attention to India's most sacred river, the Ganges, he again convinced the High Court to take action. I am very happy that the court has taken action against the polluting industries, which are discharging affluents into the Ganges. The Ganga is one of the holiest of the holy rivers in India, and uh, every Hindu uh, has respect and deep devotion for this mighty river. The millions of uh, liters of affluents are being discharged by polluting industries, and as a result of that, many stretches of Ganga river have become highly polluted. The water is so contaminated that it is unfit for drinking, washing, and bathing and irrigational purposes. That's why I took this case in 1985, and now uh, the Supreme Court of India has taken a keen interest in saving this river from pollution. Although progress has been slow, Meta has helped awaken the people of the subcontinent to the pressing need for environmental reform. When I started this whole thing in 1983, the situation was different, and now the situation has changed. And the people now, they are coming forward, they are writing letters to me, they are going to the courts, they are going to the pollution control board, they are going to the authorities, and they are, in many ways, they, are, uh, they have become very bold. And I wish that uh, in this country more and more people, they should take such causes so that people can be benefited. Meta continues to broaden his fight, always adding new and different cases. And every Friday, the tenacious man who has been dubbed the Green Avenger takes his place in a specially reserved room of India's Supreme Court to argue that people have the right to live in a clean world, free from pollution. Air and water, these are precious things. These two things, nobody has right to pollute. Nobody has right to poison uh, the present generations and the future generations. And for that, I am fighting. The, this is a beautiful globe. This is a beautiful planet. This is the only planet which we inherit. We are facing an irreversible situation, and it is the time that we should do something uh, for the present and for the future generations. For outstanding environmental achievement in Asia, a 1996 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Mahesh Chander Mehta of New Delhi, India.